I'm trying to track transparency. Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I'm going to show you how to utilize the track transparency feature in Pinnacle Studio 20. So let's jump off into Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate and make it happen. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, here we are in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. And I'm about to show you just how to get your track transparency thing going on. Now, if you are interested in the other new features in Pinnacle Studio 20, don't forget to check out my What's New review and tutorial of Pinnacle Studio 20. Let's make this track transparency thing happen. For those of you who don't know, track transparency allows you to change the opacity in different clips so that you can see through to multiple video clips at the same time. Now, as you can see right now, I have two video clips in the timeline. And if I were to play this, you'll see that all you can see is the information on the video clip that's on top. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and enable track transparency by clicking on the track transparency keyframe and slider button. When I do that, a couple of things happen. The first thing that happens is the track or the track information on the left expands and you now have a slider button that allows you to change the opacity of each one of the tracks. So if I move this to the left, it's going to change the opacity of every clip on this track. Okay, and you'll see that the number changes as I do that. And also this yellow line, which was on top, moves up or down, telling you the level of, tra of transparency based on where I move the slider. So I could do that with any one of these tracks. And it's a beautiful thing. If I move this to, let's say, 50%, and I play this back, you now see that the top track is 50% opaque or it's transparent. All right, so the other option that I have is to move the transparency or track the transparency by clip. And in order to do that, you need to click on the turn on keyframing button. If I do that, I now only see the track that I was dealing with, and I have this yellow transparency line. So I can click on it and drag it up or down just like I did before with the slider. And what I can also do is if I click on the line and let go, I will create a keyframe. So each keyframe can be moved independently to change the amount of transparency or opacity. So if I move this one up here, and then I move this one kind of like around the same area, and I move this one to the top, and this one to the top. So what's gonna happen now is this track is not gonna be visible at first because I have it down to zero and it is going to fade up and it's going to stay at this amount of o opaque or opacity and then it's going to fade up to 100% and end at 100%. So basically it's going to not be visible, it's going to fade in, stay faded and then it's going to go all the way till it's the only thing visible on the track. All right. So I'm going to click on this and close this out and it should render. And I'll go ahead and play this while it's rendering and now you'll see just the bottom track like I said and then the other one's gonna fade in. And it's gonna stay at that opacity. Then it's gonna fade all the way up to 100% where it's the only thing that's visible. 
All right, it was playing a little bit behind because it's still rendering, as you can tell, but you get the gist of what I'm talking about and what track transparency can do for you. Now, you can also change these keyframes right here within a timeline. You can also add keyframes right here within a timeline and change them as well if you wish to do so. Another thing you can do is here to the right of the keyframe button, the little drop down. If I click on this, I can click and reset the keyframes and it'll remove them all. Or I can move to the previous keyframe and make an adjustment there. I can delete a keyframe, move back or move forward between keyframes to the next keyframe. So I can navigate keyframes right from here or simply just remove them all and say, and eh, start over from scratch if I want to do that. And then when you're done, if you want to, you can click on the track transparency button. Everything will render and it'll play out how you like it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I want to thank all of my Pinnacle Studio peeps for watching this video all the way through to the end. Truly means the world to me. Now, if you like the content in this video, click on the thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. If you got any questions, you got any comments, you want to make a tutorial request, please leave it in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. If you want to get Pinnacle Studio love like this every Saturday, you got to smash the subscribe button. Because if you don't, you won't know when I upload content to YouTube and you'll be missing out on all the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.